Hello everyone, this is Paul and you are watching Billy's Educated La. In this today video session, I would like to discuss about non-access modifiers in Java. Before going into the topic, do subscribe my channel, like the video and press the bell icon for my notifications. Now let us discuss the topic of non-access modifiers in Java. Coming to the introduction part, now let us discuss what are the modifiers in Java. So in my previous video session, I already discussed about the modifiers and the types of modifiers and the access modifiers in Java. So if you didn't watch that, so please click the i button and watch that video. After that, you can watch this non-access modifiers. Now let us take a quick introduction of modifiers. What are the modifiers? The modifiers are, are the keywords that accesses or controls the classes and its members, their scope and the behavior in certain situations. So the main aim of the modifiers is to control the class and its members. How it will controls the scope of the class and its members and the behavior of the class and its members are entirely controlled by using the modifiers. So actually these modifiers are divided into two types access modifiers and non-access modifiers. As I said access modifiers are explained in the previous video session. Now let us discuss about the non-access modifiers. So here you may get doubt that what are the members. So in a class we have the objects variables and the methods so these three are named as the members of a class so here what is a scope so for example consider that you are posting an image in instagram so some people wants to keep that image as private but some people wants to keep that image as public so here the main scope is to keep that particular image as safe and keep it accessible to everyone Similarly in Java, the program is accessible to everyone or else it will be keep as a private one. That means here we are providing some security or controlling that particular program by using the modifiers. I hope you understood. Coming to the definition of non-access modifiers, they don't control any access level but provide some functionality related to the program. So the main aim of the non-access modifiers are they provide some functionality related to the program but they doesn't provide any of the access control or access level to that particular program so this entire access level or control is provided by the access modifiers as we discussed in the previous video session but in non-access modifiers the functionality required for the program is provided by the non-access modifiers so now let us discuss what are the functions provided by this non-access modifiers coming to the first one inheritance capabilities what is an inheritance inheritance is nothing but importing the components which is present in one class to another class is known as an inheritance okay so the main aim of non-access modifiers is to provide some functions when inheritance is going to be occurred for example a consider one class in this class we have different types of methods variables and objects when we are importing the components or various members of the parent class to the subclass all the contents will be imported into this subclass when all the components are imported into the subclass it will make some burden so in order to reduce that particular burden we use non-access modifiers by importing only the required methods into the subclass i hope you get my point so the main aim of non-access modifiers in inheritance is to allow only the particular members of the class into the subclass okay and coming to the second one whether all objects of our class share the same member value or have their own values of those members for example the objects provide different values to the different methods so by using non-access modifiers we can provide a different value or the same value to the members of that particular class 
ओके नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द थर्ड पॉइंट वेदर ए मेथड कैन बी वॉवर रिडन इन ए सब क्लास और नॉट वॉट इज वॉवर रिडन वेन वी आर इम्पोर्टिंग ए मेथड फ्रॉम वन क्लास टू अनदर क्लास द सेम मेथड नेम इज इम्पोर्टेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर आई हैव ए मेथड नेम एज एक्स वेन वी आर इम्पोर्टिंग दिस मेथड इन टू अनदर क्लास द सेम मेथड इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड हियर सो टू रिड्यूस द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ वॉवर रिडन वी यूज the non access modifiers so when a method can be overridden in a sub class we use the property of non access modifiers to reduce the errors and make the program effective such that the programmer can understood it very clearly i hope you understood so here these non access modifiers are divided into different types coming to the first one is static this static access modifier is applicable to the class methods and its variables okay so here you have to remember that it is applicable for the class methods and the variables and coming to the second one is final and it is applicable for the classes methods and the variables okay and coming to the third one is abstract so this abstract non access modifier is applicable for the abstract classes and the abstract methods only it is not applicable for the normal methods and the classes okay and coming to the fourth one is synchronize it is used for threading concept so threading is nothing but we can perform a multiple task of a program at a time so in upcoming video sessions you can understood it very clearly and coming to the fifth non access modifier is volatile it is also used in threading concept in next video session i would like to discuss each of the non access modifier that is static final abstract synchronize and volatile i hope you understood it if you have any doubts comment below like the video and share the content which is present in my channel and subscribe my channel thank you everyone